your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good Monday afternoon. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. We're learning more about the pedestrian crash that killed an elderly couple last summer in East Hampton. Stuart Larkin of South Hadley has been charged with two counts of motor vehicle homicide by negligent operation and one count of speeding. Ilana Murray and Edward Hanlon were both hit and killed while crossing Northampton Street in East Hampton last August. Larkin's due back in court in June. Also in East Hampton, several people coming together tonight to rally in support of Vito Perone. It comes after the school committee rescinded their offer to him for the superintendent of East Hampton Public Schools. The alleged reason behind it, a perceived microaggression in an email he sent to committee members. The protest is taking place in front of the town's municipal building on Payson Street at 6 tonight. And tenants at Springfield Gardens apartment buildings continue fighting for better living conditions. Today they appeared in housing court for a hearing. Springfield took Springfield Gardens to court for inspection violations that have not been done at many of their units in more than two years. Springfield Gardens now has 30 days to complete inspections and is due back in court in two months. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. Cloud cover will be increasing tonight as a cold front drops south from northern New England. That front will actually stall just north of western Mass. It's going to keep clouds around for everybody, but shower chances are mostly going to be around and north of Route 2. A couple of showers may get far enough south, even into the Springfield area, but the chances for that are low. We'll have lighter breezes and much milder overnight temperatures compared to last night, with lows only dipping into the upper 30s and low 40s. Now, Tuesday's a tough one as well because that frontal boundary may drift farther south or it may just linger up to the north. It's a close call, but it does look milder tomorrow with temperatures ranging anywhere from the low to mid 50s north of Route 2. We may see some low to mid 60s south of the Mass Pike. A lot of cloud cover and there is the chance for a few showers, but a lot of the day stays dry. Now we're tracking a warm front that's going to be coming into the area Wednesday night. That'll bring back the chance for some rain and then a strong cold front's going to approach on Thursday. This one should bring a few rounds of heavier showers for the afternoon and evening and possibly a few rumbles of thunder. Temperatures cooling into the mid 50s Wednesday, but rising back to near 70 on Thursday. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather and exclusive content.